Welcome to our podcast, and this week at London Visited, we go to the London Dungeon. Well, it is just after Halloween, isn't it? To tell you all about this iconic tourist part of London. My name's Steve, and each week I'll bring to you the facts, history, and information about different parts of this great capital. If you've been to London, are planning on visiting, live here, or just love London from afar, then this is the podcast for you. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel, London Visited, to see videos covering this place and so many others across London. And now to this week's podcast. The London Dungeon was originally opened in 1974. The attraction was originally a wax exhibition of gory and macabre history, comprising of themed works under the Tooley Street arches. Early characters included Bodicea, Mary Tudor, Thomas Beckett, and had scenes from the Norman Conquest. From the late 1980s to the mid-1990s, it evolved to feature walk-through theatrical shows, such as The Great Fire of London and Jack the Ripper. In 2013, the London Dungeon moved from its premises of 39 years in Tooley Street to County Hall on the South Bank, just under the London Eye. The London Dungeon features 19 shows, 20 actors and two rides. Visitors are taken on a journey through 1,000 years of London's history, where they meet actors performing as some of London's most infamous characters, including Jack the Ripper and Sweeney Todd. The Dungeon shows are staged on theatrical sets, with special effects, the show incorporates events such as the Black Death and the Gunpowder Plot, and includes characters such as the Torturer, the Plague Doctor, and the Judge. Guests are encouraged to participate in the shows. The experience also includes a drop ride to Doom, a free fall ride staged as a public hanging. The original London Dungeon opened in 1974 as a gory horror exhibition through dark British history, operating as a free flow walkthrough attraction, themed to torture and sin. It was expanded in the 1980s and 90s with several elaborate animated walkthrough attractions, such as the Great Fire of London and Jack the Ripper. By 1997, by which time the dungeon was managed by Varden Attractions, the majority of the attraction was completely redesigned as a batched walkthrough, rather than a free-flow exhibit. This saw the arrival of Judgment Day, a water-dark ride that began with visitors entering a mock trial to be sentenced to death, then boarding a boat through Traitor's Gate to their execution. The boat ride included a vertical lift and a backwards drop. Many of the original horror sections were also refurbished as part of the new ransack village scene at the start of the attraction. 2000 saw the reintroduction of the Fire of London segment, which stimulated the burning of streets of 17th century London and featured a spinning trommel with smoke effects. Under Merlin Entertainment's increasingly actor leg segments were added during the 2000s, such as the Labyrinth of the Lost, Mirror Maze and the Great Plague, In 2004, the Judgment Day boat ride was altered into Traitor, Boat Ride to Hell, removing the original effects and scenes to become a simple boat ride, largely through darkness. 2006 saw the arrival of a Sweeney Todd segment. The attraction used surround sound and sensory effects to stimulate an encounter with a character, before visitors' chairs were suddenly tilted backwards as a shock effect. Another ride segment was added in 2007, Extremis, Drop Ride to Doom based on the hangings at Newgate Gallows. Guests were raised 20 feet to meet an animatronic judge, priest and hangman before the free fall drop into darkness. In 2008, there were changes to the Jack the Ripper segment, which included a new ending scene of the Ten Bells pub. In 2009 came surgery, blood and guts, which focused on gore and anatomy, which used audience interaction. Bloody Mary, Killer Queen, opened in 2010, in place of the Fire of London segment, and selected a random audience member to be publicly burned using smoke effects. The last Tooley Street tour took place on the 31st of January 2013 and contained the following sections. The Labyrinth of the Lost, The Great Plague, Surgery, Blood and Guts, The Torture Chamber, The Courtroom, Bedlam, Traitor, Boat Ride to Hell, Sweeney Todd, Vengeance 5D, Jack the Ripper, Bloody Mary, Killer Queen, Extremis, Drop Right to Doom. The new County Hall Dungeon features some of the attractions repurposed from the Tooley Street Dungeon, not including Bloody Mary and Vengeance 5D. The remainder of the Tooley Street interior was auctioned off to the public. In its changing years, the London Dungeon has been much the subject of mixed response by visitors and leisure critics. In 1988, the attraction received much publicised appraisal from the then Lord Mayor of London for its dramatic depiction of the Great Fire of London. The original Great Fire attraction doubled attendance to the dungeon upon opening. By contrast, in 2009, 
Rick Steves describes the London Dungeon as just a highly advertised overpriced haunted house and an amateurish attraction in his book on the city. The Rough Guide to Britain describes it as best enjoyed by young teenagers and the credulous. So, I hope you enjoyed our look at the London Dungeon. Whatever podcast service you use to listen to this, please do subscribe to get updates on new shows and also please leave us some feedback. Please let me also know any places you'd like us to feature in future podcasts and you can let me know through our website www.londonvisited.co.uk You can email me directly on londonvisited at gmail.com or you can contact us on Twitter and Instagram at London Visited, or alternatively on Facebook on at The London Visited. Thanks for listening. Really hope you enjoyed our podcast and we'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye.